probably noticed that as I've been working and I've been creating objects, I've been modifying them down here under the object stack. Now, the thing about this object stack is we can see it at time of creation. If we leave it alone, it's, it's no longer there. However, if we go back to the modify palette, the object stack returns. And here we can see we've got one object and we've got the parameters for the object. What this is very useful for is we can now manipulate this object after point of creation, like so. And um, we can add modifiers to the object. Now modifiers are very useful. They allow us to do things like bend and twist and taper the object, add noises, um, add smoothing groups, mesh smoothing, things like this and they allow us to build up very complex and decent looking shapes. So we won't be able to color all of the modifiers that pop out of this list here because there is just simply too many of them. We would be here for a good six or seven hours just covering modifiers if that's all we went to do. So what we're going to do is cover a few of the key modifiers like edit mesh, edit patch, uh, bend, twist, taper, the basic modifiers, and then we'll play with some of the parameters within the edit mesh modifier especially and the smoothing modifiers and things like that.